I have the PS4 version of this game and it can be extremely frustrating at times. I am playing it as a single player and so far the game crashes about once per hour. I really want to like this game. It's fun when it works and I'm torn in my review. On top of that, the load times are brutal and take me out of the game. Each section of the game is fairly small, so I don't understand why the load times are frustratingly long. I'm only about 10 hours into the game and am concerned that as I progress, the load times will become longer. Despite these frustrations, I am enjoying the game when I get to play. This game is very similar to Wasteland 2. I was surprised to see that they kept some of the more annoying aspects of that game, such as having a barely functional map with very little navigational help. I know some people enjoy this aspect, so I am not going to lower my review, but it's something to be aware of before purchasing. If you enjoy Wasteland 2, you'll probably enjoy this game, but don't expect huge improvements over the previous edition. The graphics are much improved over the last game. The battle board takes some of the guesswork out of knowing where best to position yourself. My favorite part is building a balanced team of different characters. Without a balanced team, fights can be very difficult and I have turned on the easiest mode at times because I have gotten sick of losing. This is not a game where you can expect to be successful in each fight. The world this game builds is rich and interesting. There is plenty of dark humor and sometimes aspects of this game hit very close to home. There are many different routes you can take the story. I've been playing as a benevolently so far and some of the choices have been difficult to make. Overall, I am enjoying this game despite the bugs and other frustrations. I was torn between giving it 3 or 4 stars. I decided on 4 because I am enjoying the gameplay. The bugs are very annoying and I hope that with new releases the crashing problems are fixed. Good game but major crash issues. Fantastic game. Would have gotten 5 stars but, as of now, it crashes like crazy. Like, all the time, for no reason. Hopefully they patch it. The load times are a bit painful, but otherwise it's funny, violent, and has a pretty entertaining story that picks up where part 2 left off. Post-apocalyptic CRPG done right and a direct upgrade from Wasteland 2. This game makes Fallout 4 look like Fallout 76. The best thing about this game is probably the dialogue. The difference it makes is bigger than I ever imagined it would be and they are doing some revolutionary stuff in the dialogue as well. If you played through the first hour you'll see what I mean. The perks are interesting, the skill system works well. The quirks really make you consider your choices, and they still have all the badass weapons and armor as usual. The combat is amazing and brutal. It seems to me like you always a few ways of going about your attack every turn. I was never locked into one approach and I can see a lot of effort went into the battle layouts, where the enemies, cover, and destructibles are placed. There are a few release bugs that I've seen, but the game itself distracted me from those bugs anyway. They are updating regularly to fix these 10 tenths game. It crashes. I love this game. I have never played a game with combat like this, but I became quickly invested in it after I got over the learning curve. This game has some of the best RPG mechanics I've ever experienced. Quests have a variety of outcomes many of which are hidden depending on your actions or require skill checks, making it really feel like you're having a unique experience. The writing is top-notch and the characters enjoyable, 
there have been many moments that have impressed me as well as made me laugh. It's really about the world, characters and situations you find yourself in as opposed to the overarching narrative. However the game is held back by a plethora of technical issues. I'm playing on PS4 and it crashes about every other day at least once, however it has been helped by the updates they've released. I've come across all kinds of odd bugs, although most have just been minor annoyances. Stuff like menus freezing, incorrect info being displayed etc. If not for the bugs this would be an absolute 5 fifths for me. TLDR Despite the bugs I can still definitely recommend it to anyone that enjoys the combat of XCOM or fans of RPGs. However don't expect a polished experience. This is one of the best experiences I've had in any RPG ever as far as decision making and forging your own path. This is a fun strategy game. And just like part 2, the story will grab you keeping you invested in the game. Better graphics and battle mechanics this time plus cinematics are very improved. Having a blast playing this game and having a hard time putting it down. Highly recommended for lovers of strategy and lovers of the wasteland. I ordered TH game on 10 August 2020. It was before the release date and according to Amazon it was a pre-order. There is a pre-order bonus for all platforms. Click link in description for more reviews.